Lord, oh Lord. Fucking coach or something. Uh, little league coach or a female gym instructor in this bitch. <laughs> hey! <laughs> what up, yo? That work doing my thug, think of a dig. Loving this freaking spread that's out here. I was sitting there 20 minutes trying to figure out a song to sing. I'm gonna make that my new thing for this year. I gotta have just a song to sing live and shit up. Cause yesterday I was fucked up. Tried to do this reading, I couldn't do it. Like I recorded 30 minutes, but in between, like I say, I broke down a few times, but like I couldn't. I have it in me. You know what I'm saying? I had it in me, tried to do a reading. That's really my first time trying to do a reading when I knew I wasn't feeling it, you know what I mean? On a, on a public on a public broadcast type thing, but uh, I had to scrap it. It didn't work out. Good for me, bad for y'all. <laughs> but look, we got the reading here. I'm just going to go straight to it. Divine Feminine Situation. Off top, four of wands here, man. Home. This is Zion. You know what I mean? Um, heaven. You know, anything outside of, in my personal opinion, the last atmosphere in me that the earth has to offer here. And this limited ass existence, which is the third rock of the sun. It's Dubai beautiful. Dubai beautiful. The third rock from the sun is. But like I said, it's on a scale level, it's intergalactically. You know what I mean? Home as soon as we leave this atmosphere, you know what I'm saying? We get home. You know what I mean? Well, it's home rules. <laughs> home rules apply. And speaking of home rules, we got the King of Cups here clarifying that. In my book, that's the 1950s, 1960s. Dad, you know what I mean? Um, tough love. Tough love card to the fullest. It's also the spirit of discernment. It's also the highest form of emotion you can have. It's a king cups. Okay? Not a three of cups, distractions on some low level shit, or four of cups, which is the, the world. The world is a four of cups. Zion is four of wands. Wands are about actions, behaviors, movements, action, motion, doing shit. You know what I mean? Cups, that's just how you feel. Feelings and uh, emotions, which are all indicators on what direction mentally you're going in life. Or the decisions towards you making. You know, or the actions aren't you doing. Or the pinnacles you manifesting. Home rules. <laughs> now, you gotta show tough love to yourself, to those close to you, and to the world. This is tough love like when you was a kid, your older cousins roughing you up. Or how I was when I was growing up, my homies just fight with me. Just you know what I mean? Not in a whack way, but just you know, out the blue, motherfuckers swinging on me. You know what I'm saying? Got to be on my tools. You know what I'm saying? Got to be on point. In case the fight do break off, they slap boxing me and shit. You know what I'm saying? Not punking me, cause that can't happen. That shit you establish as a as a shorty. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Um, this is more so like keeping me on my toes. This is the shit the folks used to do. He was out here. Banging this shit, the niggas grew up in them stands. They think I'm out here like how my pops was looking in the eighties in this bitch. God damn, God damn, boy. Hey, I just really caught myself on. Boy, I look like my motherfucking pops. Look, hey, it's like home rules. You know what I'm saying? You remember when you was a shorty and you went to go spend the night at your grandma house that you don't like. We love all our grandmas, but it's like, like I, I use me for example, like Pearly May. Y'all done seen her on my channel and shit. Y'all know how Grams roll. Like probably, I know how probably atmosphere is because I grew up in it. I know everybody in it. It's a hometown feel to that because we're probably may stay at and and how that is. So I was all you know. I would never ever in my life felt scared in Pearly May house. Cause it was, you know what I'm saying? It's a God house. It's they number God fearing shit up in there and probably really kept God in the home to where I don't know, it's like a drop of holy oil outside our doors that protected everything. You know what I mean? We all we felt safe. Probably made crib. But that was a boom to normal. 
Now, Grandma Chicago House. <laughs> rest in peace. Saying rest in peace, boy. You know what? It wasn't even Grandma Chicago House. I felt safe there, too. They were in Inglewood. It was my auntie Jamey House, my grandpa brother wife. You know what I'm saying? In Eaglewood. There was in the other section of Eaglewood. Wild section of Eaglewood. When I was over there, y'all, I never felt safe as killing. I always was the kid that cried when I had to spend the night over there and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, it was just the vibes in there I, I wasn't feeling. You feel me? But it was tough love. It taught me how to be away from my mom, number one. And number two, being in a place like this, away from my mom. You know what I mean? Like, all kids grow up in their own different way. We all grew up being in that uncomfortable ass house. <laughs> you know, with your uncomfortable ass family and shit. Not on no weird ass shit. But we talking about just like on some tough love. Your cousins play fighting with you. Your big cousin play fighting with you, teasing you with some shit like that, dozens or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, it's tough love, but it makes it keeps you on guard. It did then, it's doing it now. Overall energy divine feminine. You're really gonna have to like really go back home to really you know what I'm saying it's like you really gotta go back home to really feel this energy again this tough love energy again like I say only your family gonna keep it 100 with you you can be a fucking celebrity like me when I blow when I flunch you wait blow about this bitch you know what I'm saying real shit <laughs> I bet if I roll up in my uncle DC that nigga be like nigga you, you ain't shit you know what I'm saying? You ain't shit. You ain't come from shit. Nigga, you still ain't shit, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Don't take it the, don't take it the bad way. But you ain't shit, nigga. I'm just saying that because I can say that shit and humble you right now. You know what I'm saying? Just in case you do get big-headed in the future, nigga. I'm telling you ain't shit now. Not on a bogus way. But I'm telling you ain't shit because you ain't shit in the world. Like, real shit. That's the same shit I be saying, but he's just keeping the more direct raw with it. The way I be saying with it is just like I say. <laughs> <laughs> like, ain't nobody better than the next person. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta be on your job, point blank, period. So, you know what I'm saying? We're all not shit. Because like I say, God is the bee's knees right here. Like, all we need to be focused on is God. Where, where's God? What's up, nigga? God's up, right? God sits his down from your chin. And, like I say, God is inside you. God is everything. God is the reason for everything. Whatever God is to you. Home is where the heart is. You know, home is also where the hate is. You know what I mean? And like one nigga Epic said in one of our songs, home is where the hate is with some of the greatest become greater. That's big facts. You need everything in that environment to bring you where you need to be. It's like welcome home Roscoe Jenkins with motherfucker Martin and shit. Everybody got to be humble by family the best way a family can humble you. Because they know shit about you that other people don't. They knew you before you got all whatever. <laughs> before you got all whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's like anything. You got a cousin that's a minister now. You be you you'll get in. Man, I remember that boy was woo 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 woo. Another cousin go to the NFL or some shit like that, man. I remember he was woo 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 woo. You know what I mean? Yo stripper young niece out here, you know what I mean, then finally came up on the baller, man, and she ain't got to work at the mall again, you know what I'm saying, and it's like, I remember when she, like, she's probably good on some making good shit, like, on some making good shit, you know what I'm saying, life changing everything, you know what I'm saying, motherfucker always gonna bring back the past on the motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, like, that's home, though, you need that, <laughs> Yeah, you need that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody need a reality check. I told you. The only person that can really check you in the manner you need to get checked is your masculine. I'm going to say this and I'm going to get to this message. Bottom line, at least. That's, this is the overall energy. All this shit is fairly, fairly important. Bottom line is very important. For one, this union, reunion, and recognition, too. Some people get in union. Some people get in recognition. You know what I'm saying? Some people are getting in uh, reunion. Oh, it's just going to sneak up on you. I don't know when it's going to happen. It's just going to happen. It's just going to pop up on you when you least expect it and shit. Or at the worst time. That's what that means. Two. <laughs> Tough love, man. It's keeping it motherfucking real. Overall energy. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know what? I'm going to just leave it at that. I had a good point, but I, I just, I just, I just, I just overread it. 
Bottom line, let's get to something very important. <coughs> I want to say something too. Let me see if I remember. Uh, say no more about you. Hold on. Lost my train of thought. That was a good point. <clears throat> Bottom line, very important. Divine feminine reading. You have your divine masculine here. Four of Wands at the top. Fairly, fairly important. Not very. Don't, don't, don't mix this up now. Hey, four of Wands came out. That's what's up. That's fairly important. This is very important. You know why I'm masculine? <laughs> it's finally in the loading chamber. Neo is finally in, a, in the loading chamber. Now, this sounds like a frenigorous event right here. Something big. You know what I'm saying? Gigante. <laughs> Alto, motherfucker. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is a big moment. Mental moment, too. Because, I mean, I told you. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Head is the first step. Thought. First step. You gotta have a direction you go in before you move your feet or do anything. Put any time, energy, and resources in anything. You need, you need to know what the fucking direction you're going. What what direction is this pointing anyway? Up. What's up? God's, God's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Zion is what's up. Four fifth dimensions here. Masculine. He's what's up. <laughs> He's what's up too. You know what I mean? Hey. It's the loading chamber in the matrix. What's the loading chamber? It's getting anything you need to succeed, survive, and thrive in the world. Or anything to succeed, survive, and thrive on a mission. It's a direct mission. A, du a set direction your mask with. It's burning on all cylinders. It's like he in a uniform. It's like it's a, a knight with all his uniform on. Like all his armor and shit. It's a soldier with a whole tactical outfit on. It's a person loading up all their guns. This is a whole army getting ready to fight war and shit. Loading, nigga. <laughs> Getting ready. What are you talking about? I see you at 3 o'clock, right? It's 3 o'clock. You're there. He's there. Shit's loading now. We're just trying to figure out how this shit gonna go. You know what I mean? Y'all gonna wait for more people to come or y'all just gonna thrash now? Y'all gonna say 1, 2, 3, go. <laughs> loading. <laughs> oh, the fight gonna happen. They just trying to see what's gonna happen real quick. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Something big, something major. And I gotta put more smoke on this. Ace of Swords is also strength, power, authority, dominion, courage, integrity, valor, like anything, anything you need. It's the loading chamber in the matrix. Put final smoke on this. We got the Ace of Cups. Two A's, very important. Masculine, we got the Ace of Cups. This is self-love, self-care, self-respect. Self admiration, self recognition, self identification, self realization. Not selfish, like not selfishly taking care of yourself, not doing selfish shit. We ain't talking about that. We ain't talking about taking care of yourself and survival. We ain't talking about that. This is really understanding who you are. Why? So you can understand another person. Like yourself. Or love. Yeah, love yourself. Why? So you can love another person. You know, you gotta. Everything yourself so you can do the same shit with another person. Also, the first step to emotionally getting happy in life. What's ten of these pinnacles? The karmic completion of the emotion cycle. Ten of cups, that's happiness. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the first step to happiness, ten of, ten of cups, is ace of company and motherfucking self. Try to do that, right? I. Oh, <laughs> bottom line energy is fairly important. Masculine, you got everything you need. So you, you got everything you need to take care of yourself. You got everything you need to find your direction. You got everything you need to find your purpose. Everything you need to find God. Everything you need to find your twin. Everything you need to get the right words to say to your twin. Everything you need to start this company or business or get the, whatever the fuck you need. It's out here, bro. <laughs> and you're taking advantage. Why? Because you're the king of fucking actions right now. What are wands? Actions, behavior, movement. You about that action. You, you're the king of action. You're the king of actions. 
Not the king of pinnacles. The king of having shit. Not the king of cops. You know what I'm saying? Just a 1950s, 1960s dad. Which is cool out here. But you're going to have to do more than just feel a certain way. Or have your feelings. Or have your principles. Or have your whatever. That's just how, that's just how you feel inside. I mean, you got three other avenues. <laughs> Wands, pinnacles, sports, you know what I'm saying? Ways of doing things. You gotta do everything at once. You can't do shit unless you're doing it. That's where wands come in. So bottom line, masculine, take care of yourself. Please learn how to love yourself. Please get your first steps done. You know what I mean? It's like go about it the right way. Go about things the right way. It's coming to the situation and Okay, it's the feminine. I got lost there. <laughs> so feminine, yeah. Take care of yourself, feminine. And um, you got everything you need to succeed, survive, and thrive. All you gotta do is make your mind up to to arrive at that conclusion. Personally, come to the situation of life, feminine. You got the three of wands. Your role, your purpose too. It's your role, but it's your purpose too. Three of Wands is purpose. Three of Wands is Divine Masculine's purpose, too. Purpose is... Good card, too. I think a lot of people are asking about this. Three of Wands. Um, like how you know if you found your purpose, how you know if you want purpose, things of that sort. Okay. I told you. It goes back to this Ace of Swords right here. It's all mental. It's all mental, so... You get a reading from me, I'll tell you things like, don't take what I say wholeheartedly, because I think you're just coming for verification anyway. Just trust and believe what you were saying and just use what I say as a God. If you marry, don't take shit I say more over than your husband. I should have that much influence. Yes, you're coming to me for help and shit like that, but it's rules to the, to everything. I know how to, you know what I mean? It's, it's just respect on levels that like it's levels to respect. Let's put it like that. Purpose. You're doing something outside of your job, outside of your relationship, outside of your home. Might be in your home. It's variables to everything, but outside. Everybody has a situation. Everybody making ends meet. Everybody got bills to pay. Everybody got shit to do. We're talking about doing this, like the shit you're doing, because everybody's doing that. You're doing that. I'm doing that. We're all taking care of our business, right? Okay, we got business to take care of outside of the business we taking care of. So if you stepping outside of the business you taking care of, when I say you stepping outside, I mean you still taking care of business. You just stepping out like actions. You're stepping outside to help people. You're blessing people. That's what you're doing. Blessing people. With your service, with your time, with your energy, with your resources, with your love, with your knowledge, with your life, whatever you're doing, you're blessing somebody. Whether you're taking time out to help a young person who's homeless, you know what I mean? Get through school by helping them get them clothes, you know what I mean? A little shit like, like, like you know what I'm saying? The world is fucking big. The world too big for people not to help other people. It's a lot of people in this world that need help. And the shit you're doing, you're not, like, you're not getting no cookies for it. You're doing it because it's your job. Three of Wands, feminine. That's the divine feminine is your role. Three of Wands. It's your, it's your job to be doing your purpose. Like, that's why your Three of Wands is a role, because you're supposed to be on your purpose all day, every day. Like, you're a real fucking superhero. You ain't got time to not be on your job. It's just a lot of people you can't, like I said, there's no off switch to what you do, whatever you're doing. But whatever you're doing is helping people. Like, you literally talk to people and they can be like, yeah, she helps me so-and-so on the weekend or she tutors me so-and-so. So, You know what I mean? Whatever you're doing, you can be tutoring somebody. You can be driving somebody to work. You know what I'm saying? You can be feeding somebody, clothing somebody. You can be getting somebody in college, you could be helping somebody pass an exam, whatever the, teaching somebody piano, whatever the fuck you're doing, 
Okay? You're being of service. And you're helping. And you're not really getting shit out the deal. You know what I'm saying? And you still got your shit to take care of at the end of the day. But you got to do it. Why? Because you're the person. Purpose. Three of Wands. Purpose. It was your purpose to do it. Are y'all, am I getting to y'all? Am I reaching y'all yet? Yeah, it was your purpose. To clothe that man at night. Otherwise, he would have froze to death. Or to feed that. I don't know. Dog for you dog lover motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Animal lovers and shit. Like, you keeping hope alive out here. It's like, what you're doing is for the kingdom. You ain't doing shit to sneak around and do something dark. No, you're doing shit of light. You know what I mean? But you're not getting no cookies from it. That's why it's being done in the manner it's being done. Service, servitude, shit like that. Like, y'all got a purpose to do. Make sure you're on your purpose. So if you know what your purpose is and you work on your purpose, stay on your purpose. Why? Because you're going to get blessed for blessing people. But we're not doing this to get blessings. Yeah, it sounds stupid, but I mean, it's facts. We're doing shit because we have to. We're going to get blessed, but you don't want to go into it for the blessings. Because then you'll be two or one. You're just, you're just surviving. You're just making ends meet. You know what I mean? You're just surviving. That's not how you should be treating your purpose. It's like this. This shit. It's purpose. It's purpose because this shit don't stop. This ain't stopped since I started LLE Ascension. I'm going into season three, year three. Since season one, first week of season one, my phone ain't stopped ringing. Even when I had 200 subscribers, even when I had 800 subscribers, I'm telling you, it was my. <laughs> Like I said, it was crazy back then. You know what I mean? It didn't stop. I always help people. It's the reason why I kind of disconnected with a lot of my people too because I wasn't on call. I'm not on call now like I used to be back in the day when I was just really for the, helping motherfuckers for the free free. What even having no deals? There wasn't no deals. None. You know what I'm saying? I, I was twisting motherfuckers arm to get a twenty five dollar reading out this bitch from y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like. But it was for the kingdom, bro. Like I was just, I was looking people that know me, people that really was here in the beginning, y'all know what the fuck it is. And I love y'all and I appreciate each and every single one of y'all from the beginning, man, because y'all the reason why I'm here and relevant. Here and relevant. Still. Um purpose. Cause you gotta cause you gotta be on your purpose. You know, with this, I do it as a purpose. I get blessed from it, but I say this is what I was put here to do. Me personally, my flavor, my my shit fits this. That's why it resonates with y'all and stuff like that. So it's my purpose to be here, so I'm here. Whether I want to be or not. Tried to do this yesterday. I, I tried. I didn't want to do a reading yesterday. I tried. And I couldn't do it. Today I can. So I'll go. Moving on. Purpose, get on it. Something outside of your job. So I'm outside of your relationship, and you're going to have to put time, energy, and resources into it, and you're going to have to bless somebody else because you can. You're in a position to do it. If you got $10 and somebody needs one to eat or they're going to starve, give them one. The fuck? <laughs> you got 10 Like, obviously, it was your purpose to be here to give this motherfucker a dollar. They're not motherfuckers, but you know what I mean. I'm just saying, it's no purpose. To swerve that dog you could have hit last night, and then the people found their dog. Somebody found their dog, and now the dog's home safely. Type shit. It was at the expense of, I don't know, you losing the tire. <laughs> Some shit like that. You know what I mean? But you know God gonna bless you for that good deed right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever. It scales. It scales. Anyway, it's three madness to all this. We got six of pentacles. You're getting square out here. You know what I mean? Point is to get square. Going back to the three of wands that's on top of this shit. You're also doing your purpose to get square. With who? With God. And be square in life. Two of wands is getting square in life. Three of wands is getting square with God. That's the whole six of pentacles. You're going to have to get square. You got a two of wands and three of wands at the same time. What's the three of wands? It's just two of wands with another wand on it. 
Because you two are winding and three are winding at the same time, three are winding. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're getting square. By being on purpose feminine, you're getting square with God. And if you're doing what God wants you to do, you best believe God going to do what you want him to do. Everything you want him to do. Anything you want him to do. Put more smoke on this getting square. Got the king of pentacles. This is the CEO card. This is the alchemist in my book. Magician in my book. Master manifester, a person that knows how to manifest any fucking thing they want. Like you can't, like I can't, like God does. God's in us. That's why we can do this stuff. You know what I'm saying? But hey, it paid cost to be the boss. This ain't even the boss. Boss is the queen of pentacles. This is the owner. <laughs> this is the owner. You know what I mean? This is ownership. This is having control over everything. You don't just want to get square in life. Like, you don't just want to work. <laughs> you want to be an owner. You want to work yourself until you become an owner. Three of Wands. You don't just want to do purpose. You want to, like I say, enterprise. So now you're the owner of whatever it is you doing your purpose with. Your purpose ain't a business at this point. Your purpose is still your purpose. You know what I mean? It's just what a th three of wands is. It's a purpose. All three of wands is is just another branch of life. Two of wands. That's survival. That's just like I said. That's just like having a uh, light in this booth. That's cool beans. But if this was a blackout and I don't know, world ended or some shit like that, and all I got is like I don't know, three glow sticks. Then I need to move the fuck around. Not three glow sticks. Like three flashlights. I need to move around. You know what I mean, the light is used to get me, like, if you're surviving, the light that you have is just for you to see, which is cool, but we got to evolve, we got to get to another place, I'm in a booth, there's, gonna be no, there's not going to be substance here, it's going to be no food, no water here, it's like, maybe it's a flood or something coming or some shit like that, like, we have to move around, so I got to put a light here. The same light that I'm using to lighten this up, I need to take some light here and put it, I don't know, like I said, half a mile down the road, and then put another mile, uh, another light halfway down that road, tie a string or something to it so we can all direct ourselves from where we're at here in this booth to wherever the fuck the third light can reach. But, you know what I mean? By doing that, we're farther than where we, are, than where we were here. We're in a new place. We can look for shit. Light. It's like we're moving in darkness and we're using light to guide us. That's all a divine feminine does. That's why I told you all uh, explorers, y'all are leaders of the expedition and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? We're the people that moves this shit. Like, we push through. We're like roots in the ground. We're the ones that move shit forward. You know what I'm saying? So, How you move is important. Feminine. You in regards to yourself, you got the three of cups here. This is distractions. Or this could be um three children. You know what I mean? People that orbit you. This is you. This could be your children or your children and your parents who are elderly now or you know what I mean you children, it's just like your job or like school or whatever the hell you balance. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's just kind of like routine. Mm. Routine is a distraction. <laughs> it's having set agendas is a, is a distraction. Being fixed is a distraction. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a lot of distractions, level of distractions, but the way this distraction is looking is that you need to keep your Orbit speed clear. So you don't want to have too many satellites orbiting you. You're moving very fast right now. Feminine. And you don't want nothing to perturb your rotation. Like your planet that's spinning. You don't want nothing to wobble you out. You don't want nothing perturbing your orbit from the sun. You know, it's like you spinning and then you're spinning in space and then you just... 
happen to attract a few moons. It's like you got so many moons on you and you just a small planet yourself is throwing you out of wobble. It's throwing these other planets out of wobble. A lot of shit is a lot of shit is happening. And it's bad. You know what I mean? Um, this is dead weight. People you need to drop like hot potatoes. Why? Because like I say, they're not helping you with anything. If people aren't helping you, they're hurting you. We don't mean help by people taking care of you or doing your job for you or taking care of your business for you. No. But by, like when I say, when, when, I, when you hear the saying, if you're not helping me, you're hurting me. It's just like, like I say, if you're kicking drugs or you're kicking a habit, you know what I'm saying? If a person comes with the drug that you're trying to get off of and then uses that drug in front of you, they're definitely hurting you. Like, they're not trying to help you at all. They're hurting you. You know what I'm saying? If you want in a situation where you kind of financially strapped for things and shit is real tight, <coughs> and you... <coughs> Let's just say you let a family member stay over. They're like they got money. And you lent them money. And they kind of owe you money. But you don't want to be on their case about it. You know they can help you. You figure they would, but they don't. You know. Dead weight. It's like, well, why are you here? <laughs> it's like, are you here to save money on me when you owe me money and you know I'm strapped for money? Like, what kind of distraction are you like <laughs> okay you know what I mean like you gotta cut people off point blank period and this deals with kids this goes with the whole rant I had in the uh god I don't know what message it was it was probably the twin flame separation message something like that or maybe the masculine message I don't know it was this week like I said your kids <clears throat> don't underestimate your children monitor them in your home four wands is the home only in your home, you have control over your children. Don't be a fucking knack knack. You know what I'm saying? Don't just be all in a grill like Missy Elliott and shit. Get them a space, but not like that type of space in the streets. Like, be on a ass, but be on a ass in a, in a respectable way. Like, be like the cops on a ass. Like, because you have the right to, to be an undercover cop on your kids or to be the cops on your kids. Or, like, literally bust through the door. Search through their whole shit, fuck their shit up, dirty it up, all fuck up. Yeah, y'all clean it up. I'm out of here. Your mom, you can do shit like that. <laughs> like, who's got something to say about that? Oh, fuck, you shouldn't have nothing to say about that. I mean, show house, you paying the bills and all that other extra shit. Like, flex. But it ain't really flexing because you ain't got to flex on your kids. You can literally turn into a detective on your kids. Do that. Even if they grown ass kids and you got jurisdictions. To enforce your detective attitude right now, do that shit. You you cutting all dead weight for two twenty, all dead weight, all dead weight. That's you personally. You know what I'm saying it's a lot of distractions out here. You don't want to get caught up with it. Uh, this goes for fads. Anything that's in, we doing shit because everybody else doing it. Like eating Popeye chicken sandwiches and shit. I ain't never had one. I ain't nothing to have one because I don't like shit everybody else like. Everybody doing something, I don't want to do it. Because there must be something to it. Like I said, it's programs out here. I'm not trying to get caught up in one. Whether that's um, motherfuckers getting flu shots out here willingly, or like I say, motherfuckers is willingly inserting the FR or uh, ID chip in them and shit. Like, whatever. Like, whatever catastrophic shit is going to happen, the public is going to ask for the shit. Like, they always ask for their demise. They don't see the shit. They're comics, but anyway, getting back to the meeting. Distractions. It's a lot of them out here. Don't get caught up in none. As long as you're handling your business, as long as you're three or one in your role, feminine, as long as you're on your job, you ain't got shit to worry about. If you ain't on your job, if you're not three or one out here, then like I say, the, the chances of you getting caught up in distractions out here are pretty high. Tread light. King of, Cup, King of Pentacles is out here, so it's only right the Queen of Pentacles is out here. And um, this is you in the Mystery Madness role in regards to yourself, feminine. This is the boss, this is the bossy card. Bossy Khalees card. Now, gotta keep it fucking real on this one. Yesterday, 
got the Eight of Pentacles clarifying this Queen of Pentacles. I'm gonna get, get to the Queen first. Main reason why I couldn't do the reading yesterday <clears throat> was a few reasons that I won't disclose because this is internal shit. It was some World Seven of Wands shit I was going through, and I'm gonna just keep it at that. Cause you know haters love to see you now, and you don't want to give them shit. <laughs> like you gotta watch what you say these days, cause motherfuckers want to twist around it, like twist that shit around to make you look bad type shit. Like even keeping it real. Fuck this is in my life. Weekend. Any rate, <clears throat> my mouth gets me in trouble a lot. I say the first shit that flies out of my mouth. And my head is keeping it real. Is saying the first shit fly out of my mouth. To me, that's keeping it 100. And I'll be 10 toes down on. Like doing that. I'll be ten toes down about like keeping shit real, but like I say, it's like keeping it real can go wrong. And it did for me <laughs> yesterday. Truth has a way of having like, I don't know, truth sets people free. And truth sets me free all the time with people in the world. With bullshit. Mainly bullshit, but I kind of said some shit I shouldn't have said to some people I love dearly. People who are in my harvest. You know. Queen of Pickles is a bossy card. Khalees bossy card. I bossed some people around who I love dearly. But they own bullshit. Which is why I bossed their ass. And I wasn't bossing them around like trying to control them or just like literally manipulating them or some shit like that. No, it was bossy like like my mouth. Like I said, I, I, I got a I got a mouth on me, Joe. I, I do be my mouth like a Uzi, man. This bitch like a, a AK-47. This motherfucker like a rifle, man. It's powerful. Like I can blow your motherfucking neck off. You know what I'm saying? If we verbally get into an exchange and I and I this shit that's inside. Cause I, I mean I'm Tim Toes down on what the fuck I say. I'm the king of I apologize for yesterday. But I meant every word I motherfucking said. And that's what I said. Like, I apologize. Not for what I said. I'm just apologizing. Because we here. I'm the king of... Hey, I, I apologize. But I meant every motherfucking word I said. Ten toes the fuck down. Yes, I might lose a best friend or a nice... Nice one. <laughs> but... Yeah, you know I mean, to me, this is like, it's what makes us us, man. It's what makes you you, man. You're a boss. Every boss ain't gonna run a business the same. Every boss ain't gonna do something smart the first time. Maybe it might take some, like, uh, you know what I'm saying, time for them to be a better boss type shit. Like, we all learn. It's pinnacles, pinnacles. This shit that you can taste, touch, see, feel in here. This is a person, place, or a thing that's here. It's 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 manifested. If you're a boss, you manifesting shit. Not on a scale as an owner, but you're manifesting shit. You ain't a regular worker. You got a little bit more power, a little bit more influence, and you know probably getting a little bit more pay. But the reason why the Eight of Pentacles is here because it represents what you have, boss. Aside from being a boss of your job. Whatever you do, you know what I mean? It's like, you, you besides running your business, you still got to run your garden. And like I said, I broke down the garden in one of my readings this week, too, which was pretty profound. You should check that out, too. But Eight of Pentacles, like I said, shoes on your feet, clothes on your back, come from the bed, sleep on the shit. Um, the car, house, children, twin. It's having things, important things. You know, these are good things. And these things that you've manifested, things that you created yourself, and manifested yourself. So, I pick another card, make sure ain't no rare card, so we ain't got no verbal spankings from above here. Five of Wands, outside conflict. Good, good, good. This is life after union. Overall energy was just four of Wands. 
union reunion recognition. We got life after union, life after reunion, life after recognition, life after you hear back from your twin, life after you leave your twin, life after your twin comes back, like, you know what I mean? It's life after. It's still the day after. You know, we have these magical moments in life. And they're good. They're awesome. You know, marriage, engagements, baby's first step, first birthday, first loose tooth, whatever. It's memories that's out here all the time. But it's always the after effect of the memory. You know? <laughs> it's like, you know, we're going to go all out for the baby's birthday. Y'all go all out. Take the kid to Disney World, all that shit. Ooh. Okay, this is the day, this is the morning after the kid's birthday at fucking Disney, Disney World. You know what I'm saying? You're just sitting in a hotel like, fuck. We just spent the grisnip. You know what I'm saying? I, it's like, I don't even think this motherfucker gonna remember this birthday. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, like, y'all going over figures in y'all head, like, damn. I mean, it was worth every penny because it's for your kid. There's nothing, nothing to for your children and shit like that but it's like let's keep it real here like y'all about to go back home back to life back to reality check your ends pinnacles <laughs> you gotta harvest you know what i mean but like i say it's still pinnacles at the end of the motherfucking day it's life after that sale life after that splurge life after that good night that good time and whatever it's life after that Make sure you're aware that there is life after magic moments. Keep that same energy, too. <laughs> Keep that same energy. Feminine, you in regards to the masculine energy or in your masculine energy, I mean, your masculine world, you got the five of pentacles. It's the dark night of the soul. It's you personally going through the dark night of the soul. It's being emotionally isolated. This is being physically isolated. Not having friends around. This is not having people. This is the kind of energy I had yesterday too. You know, I felt very. I was angry yesterday. I was very angry. I was very fucking vulnerable. You know, confused. A lot of shit. You know that I got going on. We all got separate lives. Like I don't know what the fuck they do on any other channels, but this is. I got, you know what I mean? It's, it's live. I don't do live. But this shit is live, you know what I'm saying? And I don't even get as fucked up as I was yesterday. Like, I was fucked up. Like, I can't explain it. Like, argue with a lot of good people I love, coming at them crazy, because I was feeling insecure and feeling just fucked up. I'm not going to go into detail what happened, but... This was definitely in the energy. I was assed out. You know what I mean? Left in the cold. I felt so without things. All the five pinnacles is, is going without something. You know, what I realized yesterday <laughs> was I was going without like my, my cape. You know what I mean? I, I got like a fucking... I gotta hit that person back. Um, five of pentacles. I gotta pick another card. So many ways I can go with this. Just give me one second. Another five. Five of swords. This is focusing. Five of pentacles. This is going without something. Either it was taken away from you, or you had to let it go. Either way, you're without it. And you're in a dark night of soul. So asked out, you feel not the same. Why it's not being here. And it's like five of swords. You put too much focus on this lack and scarcity right here. This is all this is. Lack and scarcity. You're not having what you have anymore. It's like you're losing your house and you're still bitching about it when there's nothing you can do about it. Or you lost your car 
and you bitching about it when you can't do nothing about it. Like when shit happens, you gotta learn to move away from it. If you can't move away from it, then you know, you're just gonna be stuck. Like the five of swords, you cocking back a bow to you know aiming at a target, cocking back. Cocking back a bow to aim at a target, but it's like you you ain't letting it go. You just got your arm cut. This year, your arm's going to get tired. Eventually, it's going to be the waste of a shot from wasting too much time. When shit gets taken away from you or when you lose things or whatever, you got to learn how to maneuver. You got to learn how to keep it stepping. You can't cry with spill milk and it's a purpose you go on without it. You know, learn that lesson, learn that purpose, and keep it moving. Random cars driving around here. Anyway. Feminine, uh, your mystery man is wrong. In regards to the feminine energy, we got the world. The Matrix, the crab buckets, <laughs> meditation, whatever you want to call it. Clarifying that is the sixth of cups, sauce, steez, essence. That's what makes you you. Everybody has sauce. Everybody's all that. Everybody is the bee's knees in the world. Four cups. In the world, everybody has the same that everybody else has. Put more smoke on that. <clears throat> other than money, other than money, which sets people apart in ways that's in levels. Like I said, well, that's a social class, ethnic class, like the money. It's the money part of it. Okay, that doesn't make people different from other people. Might seem like it does, but it doesn't. Don't buy into that program. But, you know, money. That shit's only viable in a world where money is, like, the focus. Like I said, if a meteorite hit the earth or some catastrophic shit happened, world war, like on Z, like on a whole nother level, you know what I mean? Only thing that's gonna be important is like survival. You know what I mean? Like life. You know, time is not gonna be important anymore. It's like life is gonna be important. The kids, the youth. You know what I mean? It's gonna be different agendas when money don't mean shit no more. When people unite for love and, and, and life. <laughs> it's gonna take the fucking financial collapse for people to get together on some real shit. The way it used to be done, right? So, you know, everybody got sauce. Everybody got steez. Everybody has it. But you got to do something with it. You know, everybody can die. That's low level shit, four cups. I mean, that's shit. everybody shares the same shit. Every human being on this earth shares the same fate. We can die at any time. We're vulnerable. We're we're just as vulnerable as human beings in the world as the world is in the universe. Same way anybody can catch any type of wrath, the, the earth can catch wrath too. In the same manner. You know what I mean? It scales to everything. Everybody has it. Everybody has air in their lungs. Everybody can hear this message. Everybody was given, like I say, the present. Life is a gift. That's why it's called the present. Like, everybody gets one. We only get one life. We only get a few things once, man. And, and, and sauce is one of them one-time thingy things. Man. Like, you only get one chance to prove yourself. Or one chance to find out who you are. Or one chance to find your purpose. One chance to make a dream come true. Or one chance to make a dream come true. Like, what, like whatever. I only get one life, man. I only live once. Okay? So, whatever makes you, you go forth with yourself and give yourself to the world for the kingdom in the best manner you can. 
One, it was meant for you to do it. Number two, that's what's going to set you apart from everybody else. Going to the future. Got the Nine of Swords. This is losing sleep, losing teeth, losing hair, losing weight the wrong way. And um, got to pick another car. Well, I'll break this down a little bit more. Nine of Swords. Losing sleep. If you ain't been sleeping, sleep. Turn your phone off. Unplug shit. Do whatever the fuck you gotta do. So you can take your ass to sleep. There should be no reason you can't sleep when you can't. It's because the TV on, your phone on, all these gadgets, gadgets is plugged up, going off. You knew that shit when you bought these items. <laughs> and I mean, whatever you gotta do to kind of, I don't know, catch some Z's, catch some Z's. It's 2020. There should be no fucking reason you ain't getting no sleep out here. There should be no fucking reason why insomnia is on the rise. Nah, it's willpower. Fuck out of here. Sleep. Eat it. <laughs> eating. Eat right. Or, or eat something. You not eating ain't helping. You need you need you need food to live. Think of yourself as a plant. I mean uh Yeah, you're like a plant. You need simple like you need food to live and substance. You know, you gotta eat. Make sure you eat. You gotta sleep too. Sleeping helps your immune system. Eating helps your immune system. You got bad eating habits, bad sleeping habits, fix them bitches. This goes for me too. I got whack ass eating habits. Um losing teeth, losing hair. The wrong way. Not cut my own hair. I don't need to, you know what I'm saying, go get a haircut and then use that haircut to build off of type situation because you know what I mean, I might be just doing more damage to my hair. Uh cutting it myself. Then like uh if I take myself to a barber or some shit like that. You know, that type of energy, you know what I'm saying? There should be no reason it's two twenty, should be no reason why um you know I should be losing hair. Main thing I should be blowing. Growing hair around this piece, you know what I'm saying? But uh it's all me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um yeah, you know it's two twenty. It should be no reason for anybody to be losing sleep, losing teeth, losing hair, losing weight. In any wrong way, we can do it the right way. In 220. Aside from that, we got the Ten of Wands. This is any something you're passionate about or putting a passion into something. And when this is putting a passion into something. What? That bullshit. On to the future. Feminine. You putting a fat, passionate in. Fat, passionate in. You know what I'm saying? To some bullshit. Bullshit include. This 220. Bullshit include impressing people. We don't need to impress no fucking body. You know what I'm saying? Ain't them niggas need to be tap dancing for us out this bitch. Not in the literal sense. Just on a this is the first fresh out the gate. I'm just meeting you or becoming aware of you. What the fuck is the deal? Type deal here. You know, it's 220, man. We ain't gotta impress nobody, man. No how fucking hoops for people you don't know. It's one thing making a good impression, but it's another thing. Fighting to leave a good, a good impression, or you feeling like shit for doing something good. It's like you know what I mean. You know we don't want to spread ourselves too thin. We ain't got enough us for us. Cause you can get lost in the sauce out here. You can get lost in some nice conversation and some nice eyes. You can get lost or distracted. Three of cups out here. You can get distracted in so many ways. You know. They put a passion in to trying to impress people. You're too grown for that. You know what I mean? You need to be direct with people. Like, motherfuckers know what it is, what it ain't, what the fuck's gonna be. We ain't out here. <laughs> we ain't out here breaking our necks for people who ain't gonna break their neck for us. We ain't out here going hard for people who ain't gonna go hard for us. We ain't out here maneuvering in a way to where we're not even like we. Let's, it's like you don't want to even maneuver in a way to where you don't know what type of person this is. You know what type of person this is, obviously, because you can make these remarks or reviews or whatever. You know, y'all put a passion into bullshit. That's number one. <laughs> 
Because a lot of us need to stop. Another thing you put the passion into, we put the passion into 220. Put the passion into, um, like, I don't know how to say it. I'm not. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, so I'm not gonna say it. I'm just stick to what I said in the beginning. Hey, look, we it's 2:20. We ain't got no time to be trying to impress people. They're not your superior at your job or God. Then it don't matter. If you're dating and you're just testing it out, seeing who's right and who's not, like. <laughs> And put a passion in and try to impress people, man. But like I said, you it's the people you want who don't want you, the people you don't want who want you, and the people you should have had as long ago. If it's a situation like that, then you bending yourself over backwards for a person that don't want you. In the matter that you want them, you're losing to so many levels. At least quitting the game ahead and putting the time, energy, and resources you was about to put into this person into something more beneficial then that's being smart not stupid final cardio reading family we got the nine of cups this is dream come true which is granted yeah dreams come true which is granted here they pick another card I want it's moving fast and fiercely on your divine direction or being on your J for design so in your mystery madness roll going to the future feminine Just know dreams can come true. How do dreams come true? Night and wise, being on your job. Hard work. Going back to the three of ones, like I said, just imagine you doing your purpose. And imagine you doing your purpose to the manner to where you can really see the success of what you do. You actually it's like you got testimonials, you know what I'm saying? Like you go out here really Touching people on a level other people ain't touching. Blessing other people on a level other people can't bless people. You know? It's like, yep. <laughs> it's like dreams gonna come true when you're on your job. Are you three of one? Are you even being on your purpose? I'm telling you, it's gonna just put you in a position to get more closer to God. Or put you in a position to get more influential or more financially free. You know what I'm saying? More wealthy. More status, what have you. Final smoke on dreams can come true by being on your divine job, feminine. Got the eight of wands communication, communication, communication. You're going to receive communication, or it's like you're trying to receive communication, or you haven't received communication, and it's really got you in your subconscious. You know, what you wouldn't think about is what. You're not here. It's the shit you don't see, you're trying to see. It's the shit you, you know, can't really figure out that you're trying to figure out. What does Divine Master want to say in the fourth and fifth dimension? Four swords. Pussy putting around. Gotta pick another card. Two of Pentacles. So, from the fourth, fifth dimension, the masculine is screaming to you, feminine. Make your mind up on what you're going to do with that dude that's close to you. Or make your mind up what you're going to do, you know what I mean, if you're trying to get close to me. Or make your mind up on what you want to do about. It's like you got two situations, only one outcome. Make your mind up. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Make your mind up. And he's also saying two of cups. Three twos just popped up. That's what I'm saying. Make sure you, you know, make a choice. Like I said, it's either or. You know, and that's what I'm saying. Two things can't occupy the same space. My masculine is saying a lot of old love 
chains and shit. You know. It's somebody you close to. And it's definitely somebody you close to in a romantic way. You know, your mass is basically trying to Oh, tell you to. I don't know. I'm, I'm Mr. Spacey right now. Hold on. Okay. Bottom line, you had the, the King of Wands here, Wine Master Energy. Be facilitated with the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups. I told you, the Divine Master is going to find the courage that he needs to communicate with you or get to you. He's also going to have to understand himself and love himself so he can understand you and love you. I told you, tools are all about initiation. The Masculine is going to be at step one in the emotional process and he's going to be at step one in the Swords process. You're gonna have to. It's like the ball in your court now. It's like two square. You just bounced the ball and knocked it to you. Now it's time for you to do whatever you need to do with the ball right now. Bring it back to his side. Like I said, tools are all about initiation. In order for feminine, you to even, I don't know, be initiated or play in this game, you gotta mentally. Agree. It's like, do you want to play this game? Yes or no? It's like, yes. All right. It's like, now you got to position yourself. <laughs> you know, you both are in attendance here. That's something you're going to have to acknowledge. Like, someone is, someone is in attendance here. This is somebody you can't hide from your twin or somebody you can't really slide under the rug. Or if you are got this person under the rug or can't keep this person away from your twin, like I said, they're so in with you that it's become a whole situation to begin with. It's just basically you and all this situation comes from you and your masculine being on the same wavelength. Let me wrap this up. I'm having a crazy brain for it. Final message in this reading right quick. Six of swords. Go with the flow. Divine Feminine, go with, go with clicks and go with works. Whatever is less tension, whatever shit is working the, 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 the smoothest, that's the direction or it's the direction that you want to go. Any other direction, that's just like going upstream. We don't want to go upstream here. We want to go downstream or at least going with the stream where we don't have to do anything. We can just ride the stream instead of paddling or paddling. That's the message that I got. Uh, hope I can be a good use. It's your boy D. Boom. I'll holler back at y'all in a sec. Deuces.